Okay, so I just quickly paused the video there to gather my thoughts and uh, uh, have a moment silence for the dearly departed. Um, we have a little bit of a thing on my beer club anytime, or actually in our messenger chat, uh, anytime uh, a glimmer bites the dust and a nice one at that, uh, we always give it a moment silence, rip in the chat. Ah, uh, God. That, that hurts, I can tell you, because I really wanted to drink. I actually really wanted to drink these beers out of this glass. Um, but, but, come on. I'm not going to be sentimental about it. It's only beer. It can be drunk out of anything. Come on. So, <clears throat> chin up, Bren. Chin up. Don't worry about it. Got the beers. Happy out. The beers aren't broken. I am going to go straight in with 200 fathoms this is this year's release of 200 fathoms 2020 uh what a rubbish year we've had in terms of um you know this pandemic that which is you know it's affected everyone but it's affected breweries all over ireland in particular because they've had to diversify and restructure their entire business in terms of the way they package, the way they deliver beer, the way they sell beer. Um, and they've had to completely write off on trade all the pubs and restaurants and all that. Uh, they've just had to knock it all on the head. So wet pubs, wet pubs as they're called here in Ireland, uh, have all just been knocked on the head, which is absolute um, uh, madness. Well, it depends which way you look at it. I mean, you see all sorts of uh, stuff going on. You wonder why the pubs should be shut. But I can understand safety first. So what breweries in Ireland, microbreweries in Ireland done, if they've, res they've responded so, so well. You know, we have the beer clouds. We have the craft centers. We have the, the craft direct, which is new on there. We have all these breweries like St. Mel's Brewery. You know, they've got their own shop up and running. Galway Bay, you can buy direct from them. You know, Meskin, I mentioned a minute ago, you can buy your beers direct from these people. Uh, so the new uh, going out is staying in and Zoom and Messenger and Facebook and beer clubs, YouTube videos, it's all become a little bit more um, fun and enjoyable way of some, in some respects, socializing with other people, which is what we always used to do. We're just having to do it differently. Um, but, but the breweries like, um, you know, to get this box, to get this box, I just lift it back up because <clears throat> it is, Oh God, I'm gonna fall over. It is a really incredible box. It's fantastic. It's just unfortunate that the the it's it's gonna be the courier's fault. But you know, Galway Bay should should really think as a rastal glass, you know, a stemmed glass like that. Maybe they should have gone with a different type of glass. Maybe a snifter or, or something like that. Something a little bit more robust with le a smaller stem. Um, I like what they did. It just didn't pan out as well as it could have done. But but the box is fantastic. And uh, hats off to Galway Bay for giving that a lash. And uh, a glass is a glass. We'll live. No big deal, he says. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at... Oh, I should probably just have a quick read of this very, very quickly. And then we'll get into it. Um... You are holding of a you are holding a bottle of the now legendary 200 fathoms. Uh, now in its sixth vintage, we work with one of the largest mashers in our brew house to produce this decadent and delicate imperial stout. To celebrate six years of this stunning barrel-aged imperial stout, we hand-selected the finest small batch whiskey cast from our friends at Teeling Whiskey Distillery. Um, I'll probably link them uh, down in the description below for you. Um, and this year's batch was racked to these beautiful barrels uh, back in March 2019. Um, so a good while ago, this, this is a decent age beer where it rested for, does that say 18 months with a very small one? 
Um, yeah, it must be. Uh, Mar- all the way back since March, anyway, of 2019. Uh, we're now December 2020. And before being bottled for your pleasure, this is five UK units. It says UK units. Okay. Um, uh, what else does it say on it? Uh, it's got the GoawayBayBrewery.com, which so you can go to look at this. Um, I don't know if they're selling it now on their uh, website, but it's all around the country right now. 10%. That's the bottle. It looks like a bit like Midas in the f- fact that it's, you know, it's like a gold glitter wax. There's a very nice gold sort of lightly embossed uh, label on it. It says drink it before um, October 2022. This is bottle 661. And um, that's all it says. That's all it says. Collaboration. Well, it's not collaboration. It's just like Galway Bay taking, um, uh, making use of tealing whiskey uh, casks and uh, Aging this beer. What does it say? Uh, no other interesting info about all of the the malts or whatever. Let's just go for it. Let's see what this is all about. Now, <clears throat> some beers are hyped up. And to a certain extent, uh, 200 Fathoms is going to be in that category. But it's okay to get hyped up. It's okay for people to get a bit excited about something. Because you know what? There's no harm in getting excited about uh, the release of a beer. Um, It has a bit of a fanfare. It has a huge following here in Ireland, as everyone here knows, but maybe you don't know that uh, across the pond or further afield. Um, The wax, um, I will note, is just on the right side of the thickness for the wax so it wasn't that hard to get off. I made a bit of a meal about it because I was talking at the same time. Anyway, let's get this into the glass. I'm having to use a Lervig uh, Rastel. Are they called Rastel glass or is that just to make them? Anyway, this is a really big uh, Lervig glass that I was gifted. Um, We're going to pour a small amount in there and we're going to see, is it whiskey? Hmm. Is that bourbon barrels? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if we can work out what kind of barrels they are that these were in. Oh, Janie Max, that has super rich dark fruit on the nose written all over it. Licorice, molasses, dark treacle, sweetness, huge amount of like sweet caramel no rich dark oh my god i wasn't expecting it to smell that good um i you know i'll buy into the hype but when it comes to getting the aroma and getting the taste of a beer you're quickly going to find out who are the pretenders and who are the ones that are just learning versus who are the ones that are actually killing it from the nose of this beer, I can tell you it is fantastic. Oh, it's that. This reminds me a little bit of um, Tokyo from Brewdog. On the nose of theirs, there's kind of like this really um, sweet, sticky, licoricey, really, really molassesy, but like almost a sweet fruit. No, no, that's not really. Almost kind of like a... Oh, Jesus, that is so good. I will say it's like a licorice molasses, sweet caramel aromas. Um, don't get huge amounts of bourbon on the nose, but I, I'm, I mean... Does it say on the box, I wonder? Uh, Or does it say on the front and I didn't realize it? Teeling whiskey barrels. Um, Look, I don't don't know, is it bourbon or is it just like, are they ex-bourbon barrels or are they just like, you know, scotch whiskey barrels? Are they just, I don't know. I don't know enough about barrels to know, but 
I don't get bourbon on the nose on this. What I get is the Russian Imperial Stout, but like a really thick, sweet, molassesy, treacly, licorice type of a thing. Dark, rich fruits, the sweetness you get from them. Cheers, Slanchek. Congratulations to Galway Bay Brewery and uh, happy Christmas to everybody out there. Um, it's been a bit of a crappy year, but at least we can sit back and enjoy uh, a few of these. Let's give it a go. Oh, really rich and unctuous, deep, thick caramel, but like the burnt caramel, the darker edge of the caramel, lots of sweetness, lots of, you know, dark, unrefined molasses type of sugars. And now the barrel, the warmth of the barrel. Oh, so this is a sophisticated beer. I really like this. And we did have a bit of a chat with the head brewer about this online. And he said it's, you know, the American, um, the American market right now is all about massive, bold, hard-hitting flavors in their, in their um, Russian Imperial stouts, their barrel-aged stouts, their flavored pastry stouts or whatever. But here, what he's aimed for is really dialing in the flavors from the malts and the flavors from the barrel and having our own expression here in Ireland rather than following the following the U.S. sort of uh, big and bold sort of over the top flavors, which I also absolutely love, by the way. Oh, prunes like huge amounts of like dark like marmalade sticky sticky fruit almost like an armagnac thing going on oh that's so good um i i will hands down tell you the aroma of this year's 200 fathoms is absolutely smashing it out the park I love it when I get um, a, a, a barrel aged uh, MP just like that. It's like it's got this really sketchy looking oiliness going on on it as well. Like, and I kind of like that because I know that there's all these, all these rich melanoid and sort of, well, you know, rich sort of treacly things going on in there that, you know, it, it it doesn't fall down the glass as quick. It laces it and it coats it with this really sort of sepia, fine, brown, orangey oiliness, which is just, it's absolute heaven. Oh, my goodness. It is so rich, 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 rich. Um, I'm going to sit here and drink this over the course of, um, probably the next couple of hours, but I feel like, I feel a bit naughty. I feel like I've gone down and opened a present under the tree because it's only a 10th of December now. I probably should have left this, but, um, if any of my beer buddies are listening to this and you're knocking around and you see 200 fathoms, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, la savage, you know, you know what to do. I will, uh, uh get get the money back to you i have to get a couple more of these bottles absolutely actually now I think about it when i ordered the box it was 50 for the box but if you wanted to get another bottle with it it was 60 but that included free deliveries so it was five or off so i ended up paying 55 when if i'd have paid five euros more i would have got another bottle of 200 fathoms that I actually tried to sort out online, but I c we just couldn't. I think logistically for Galway Bay, it was it was kind of like ah, oh, you've you know, paid for it now. It's kind of like awkward to mix change it up. But uh, yeah, I'll have to sort out the glass thing, and hopefully at that stage I can get a couple more bottles of this uh, 
to, you know, actually just enjoy them now. It's perfect right now. The head brewer, Tom Salemi, it's absolutely perfect right now. Don't feel like you have to squirrel these away. It is nice to suddenly pop up five years later and say, hey, look, I've got a bottle of uh, 2020 here. Remember that year? Let's, let's, uh, let's raise the glass. You know, it's nice to squirrel a few away, but it's also nice to just enjoy it and just enjoy beer. Beer isn't, you know, it's not like wine. It's not like whiskey. You don't keep it, sell it for 10 or 20 years. It's not, you know, you can do that with certain um, styles for sure. Um, but there comes a point where you, it's diminishing returns and then it's and then it's oxidation and all that. And you don't need that. Um, I've, I think this is bang on right now. The barrel, it makes me want to go out and get, it actually makes me want to go out and try Teeling Whiskey. The contribution of the barrel is this beautiful warming sensation as you drink it. But it's not harsh, it's not, it's not intrusive, it just matches the quality of the malt. The malt is, you know... The whiskey barrel, those barrels, they should keep doing them with tea limb because they're really, really nice. Smooth, warm. Maybe you could say it's a little bit mellow, but th there's a real strong warming character to this beer. And, uh, you know, the 10% holds it nicely. I'm swirling it around in my mouth, but it... You know, there's 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 a thickness to this beer. It's fantastic. Believe the hype. Um, that's my view on this brew. Um, I'll crack open the other two. I might I might wait a couple more days. It feels a, I feel a little bit guilty for it. Um, uh, go get this beer if there's any left on the shelves. Uh, I found it fantastic. I'm sure you will too. Uh, well done, Galway Bay and. Uh, uh, I guess it's on to the next one. Cheers, Slauncher. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then...